Okay, now we're on to the second part of our vase and flower stamp. Supply manager should have already passed out our paint mat. Folder holder, you're gonna grab the folder. Everybody should have a paper from last week. Pass those out. Put the folder back. Everybody take your paper and you're going to make sure that the vase is on the bottom, the white space is on the top. Now, when I call for the supply manager, they're going to bring the tray back. The tray looks a little different today because we're using sponges to stamp, not a paintbrush. So you're going to have a yellow circle sponge. Um, this is the center of the flower. The green rectangle is the stem. And either a pink one and a purple one, those are the different flowers. And we're making two flowers because our paper is a little smaller. So we're only using two different petals. So please listen, I'm going to tell you who gets to touch what because we have a specific order. So when I tell the person, the first one we're going to grab is our yellow um, center. Again, please listen, I will tell you who gets to touch it, then we share it so they will pass it. We are going to make two centers. We do not want them close to the face and we do not want them close to the top or the edges of our paper. So we want to come in. And I'm not going to put them right across. I'm going to move one a little farther down. You can see they're a little diagonal from each other. Again, we're only making two. Only two. Once you make the two, you're going to pass the sponge to the next person. When all of you are done, please raise your hand because Miss Lawson will come pick up the sponge. I do not want to stick it back in our paint. I'm going to go ahead and put it in our bucket. Once you finish with the yellow, the next step is the green stem. The green stem is going to go from the yellow down to the vase. You don't want it going outside the vase or all the way through it. So you pick it up, you got green paint on it, you're gonna start under and see how it's going towards the vase. Again, towards the vase. So we only have two, we only need to do it twice. Again, we are sharing this. Please pass it around the table, get more paint when you need it. When everybody's done, raise your hand. I again will come pick this up. Once we finish with that, our next step is the petals. We have a purple and a pink. Now, you could do two purple flowers, two pink flowers, or one purple and one pink. So you have a little artistic decision to make as you're looking at your piece. I am gonna do one purple so you can see it, and one pink since both petals are a little bit different. So you carefully, I'm gonna have to hold the tray down, pick it up, it's already got paint. Now, there is a point. There's a point, there's a point. You're gonna take one point, point it at the yellow dot. You can see it's pointing at the yellow dot. Push it down, pick it up, move it over, pointing at the yellow dot. Again, look, it's going off the paper. It's okay because I'm on my paint mat. Push it down, pick it up, move it over. Again, don't worry about, it's off, it's on the paint mat. So you are doing this, and again, I haven't had needed to get any more paint because it's still got paint on there. I can even point the other way and get more paint. So you're just pointing all the way around your yellow dots. Push it down, pick it up. Again, I haven't had to get any more paint. Push it down, pick it up, push it down, pick it up. That was just one time I've dipped it in the paint. You don't want to have it goopy like this. You want to have it less pink. I finished one flower. Make sure this pink is going in the pink. I've already done with this one, so the next person I want to pass it to may go ahead and use the pink because I'm going to move on to purple. Again, same thing. Now, this one doesn't have a point technically, so you just got to figure out which edge you want it to look at the dot. Push it down, pick it up, move it over. Push it down, pick it up, move it over. Push it down, pick it up, move it over. And again, I'm going around my yellow dot. Yes, Miss Lawson, they're running into each other. It's okay. Push it down, pick it up, move it over. It is okay that they're going into each other. So again, I never got any more paint on the sponge. I let the sponge continue because it holds a lot of paint. Purple sponge, purple paint. I am done. Again, the next person can move to that one. So I'm gonna sit here and wait with my paper sitting on my paint mat 
while the other students finish up their flowers. Please be aware your paint mat has paint on it, so please, please make sure your fingers are not in it. When I see that everybody's done, then I will call for the supply manager to walk this back. I will be putting the sponges in the sink. Everybody else, you're gonna listen for when you need to pick up both papers and walk it back to the drying rack.